I'd like to give you an overview of how you should manage your time in your Math 94 class as well as your other classes. I want to make it clear that there are three components to your Math 94 class. Obviously you'll attend your once a week class and you'll be doing work there. In addition to that, remember we ask you to spend 150 minutes, that's two and a half hours, in the lab some portion of your week and, and the lab is open from nine to nine every day but Sunday okay so it's not like you can't do that we asked you to spend two and a half hours in the lab in addition to your class time every week and in addition to that I want you to know that you're probably gonna have to have some sort of additional homework three components class time lab time and homework now let me show you exactly why that's the case just in case you don't believe it let's look at the standard class time management for I don't know some standard class let's say English 101 now your English 101 class perhaps goes three times a week it's a three credit course Monday Wednesday and Friday that means you spend three hours in class now certainly after each class you're gonna have writing to do so you'll have homework and I'm gonna say that that would be at least an hour of homework every day so that would be three additional hours for a total of six hours that week now any counselor is gonna tell you that if especially if you're not very good at a subject you need to spend twice the number of credit hours for homework on the average if you're gonna succeed in that class so really uh, for a three credit class you should be spending an additional six hours in homework so that means really for an English 101 class you should be spending a total including class time and homework and maybe time in the writing center nine hours is the optimal amount of time that you should be spending to succeed in that class. Now I want to make sure this is clear to you. So let's go through the same principles for another class, maybe a Tuesday, Thursday, Social 101 class. Now, I know you only have that twice a week, but if it's only twice a week, that means it goes for an hour and a half each time, which is still, I hope you appreciate, three hours of class time and you're gonna have homework of course you have to do reading in social 101 and since you only have it twice a week there's gonna be more reading for each class so the reading the homework will quite likely be another three hours worth of work on your part that adds up to six hours but it's still not the optimal amount of time because if you're not good at that subject or perhaps you're not a good reader recall that once again counselors recommend twice the number of credit hours for homework that's a three credit course so twice three would be six hours of homework and again nine hours would be the optimal amount of time you would spend every week on that subject now here comes the big kicker let's compare this to our math 94 time management which should be the same shouldn't it your math 94 class actually only occurs once a week for an hour and 15 minutes 1.25 hours look at our thermometer it only goes up to here you're way close if that's all you do you're being absolutely irresponsible even if you do the additional 150 minutes that we ask you to do in the lab that's two and a half hours let's see you'll still be in the poor range I hope you appreciate so you need to understand that to be even close to the same level of, of work that you do for other classes or should do for other classes you're gonna have to do additional time either in the lab or at home at least three hours of additional time and that still would not be optimal. If you're 
If you identify yourself as being not a strong math student, and I think many of you do, then you need to spend more than three hours of additional time. As the counselors have told you for other classes, you need to spend twice the number of credit hours, and this is a three credit class, so you should be spending five to six hours of additional time in addition to your lab time and your class time if you are to succeed in this class. So if you're not spending that amount of time, please don't be surprised that you're not meeting your goals and you don't pass the class at the end. So you've been warned. It's on you now.